In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to hit your long irons better, more consistent. My name is Mario Russo, I'm a scratch golfer, and I bring you all the golf tips, techniques, and strategies here on YouTube that I've learned over the course of my golf career so that I can help you improve your golf game. When I refer to your longer irons, I'm referring to your three, four, five, and even six iron. Longer irons need special attention because the sweet spot is a little smaller, so the margin for error is less, and the clubs are actually physically longer, making them harder to control. So tip number one, stand a little further away from the golf ball than you normally would. When I say a little further, I only mean a couple inches, so don't take me too literally. It doesn't have to be exactly a couple inches, but just far enough away to give yourself a little extra space so that you're comfortable standing over the ball since your longer irons are actually physically longer than your shorter irons. You can see on the screen that my hands are slightly extended out a bit more than normal. I'm slightly reaching for the ball. However, I'm still in a position that allows my hands to hang naturally over the ball and the weight is evenly distributed on the heels and the arches of my feet. So you want your weight on the heels and the arches of your feet at address, not on your toes. Tip number two, bring the club back just a bit slower than you normally would. Since the club is physically longer than say a pitching wedge, it'll take a hair longer to get back to the top of your swing, but that's okay. This gives you a little, little bit of time to get the club around your body and still keep your tempo. You'll notice that I draw the club back just a little longer than I would with a shorter iron when you watch the video in real time. It's okay to take things slow, especially at first when you're trying to really find your swing. So go slow to go fast later. And tip number three, keep your lower body quiet throughout the swing. I've mentioned this philosophy in my other videos a lot and it especially applies to your longer irons. If you watch my hips in this video, you'll notice that there really isn't a whole lot of movement throughout the swing. And that's because I don't want my body to get in the way of my hands and arms when they come down through impact. So getting your body too much involved in the swing can throw off the plane of your arms. So a quick recap, stand slightly further away from the ball, bring the club back slower, and keep your lower body quiet throughout the swing. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get instant notifications when I come out with instructional golf training content. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I welcome and always appreciate the feedback. Until next time, thanks for watching.